Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rianne. Today's video is one I've been putting off for a long time and you have been very patient about, so thank you. I'm going to be talking about my favourite perfumes. I have 10 vegan and cruelty free, or at least cruelty free and these are vegan brands to show you. And um, I've, I've, I've got a whole scripted thing here with prices, notes, I, I did my homework. Um, I'm also about to enjoy a um, non-alcoholic beer. This one is from Hairless Dog. It's their Citra Lagerre. Um, that's gonna be my beverage for the day. So grab yourself one. Let's do the intro and smell smells. Alright, so as always, everything I'm mentioning will be linked and listed in the description box down below. If there's anything else you want to ask, I will meet you in the comments. And um, I've got my little coffee here to cleanse my nasal palate in between smells. That's how you know I'm serious. I've done my homework and I have the coffee beans. <sighs> Shout out to Bean Box for the coffee. So obviously perfumes are gonna wear differently and smell differently on different people depending on your your biology, right? Your your skin and such. Um, typically I found the more expensive perfumes tend to last a bit longer. I'm sure there's exceptions there. And I have tried to cover a variety of price points in this video. I'm gonna be going through the brands alphabetically so no particular order as to whether I love them more or not. And uh, regardless of price point, I think these are all lovely options. So let's start with Define Me Fragrance. So Define Me are clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free as well, I think. They have perfume mist, perfume oils, they have hand sanitizers, and hair perfume too. So uh, they did actually just send me two of their uh, newer hand sanitizers. Has anyone else noticed that hand sanitizers have started to smell like tequila? because there's some of them literally make me gag when I get into the car and put hand sanitizer on. I don't even have to have it particularly near my nose, but the smell makes me gag. It's like perfume mixed with tequila and that's never, never a good time. Bad memories. This, however, smells kind of just like alcohol with a little hint of something, which I guess would be mint. Uh, and then this one is Blissful Citrus. just smells like maybe a very watered down vodka orange. There's no tequila in these, so delicious options. They are a charitable brand. They've partnered with, I'm just checking my notes, so I don't want to get this wrong. She's the first, uh, which is a non-profit granting scholarships to girls who may otherwise not have access to them. They are available at Ulta as well as their own site. They will be linked down below. And this is one of my kind of existing favorite favorites. I feel like this is the older packaging, which is Sophia Isabel. These do sell for $68, which I think they're beautiful perfumes. I do think for that price, maybe the packaging could do with a little upgrade. I do have one of the newer products here, so we will look at that. And this one is Mandarin, Tangerine, Blackcurrant, Jasmine, Vanilla, and Sugar. Mm. Delightful. And then let's dig into this new one, which is called Kahana. This one is hibiscus, pink pepper, coconut water, white orchid. It says Santa, but that's not right. What have I misspelled? Santal. <laughs> and soft blonde woods. So this is the newer packaging. It's very pretty, but I just think for the price, and this is just my taste, it could look a little more, um, I don't know, a little more chic, I suppose. Any that are new, I'm just gonna spray in the box so I can somewhat contain and separate the smells. That is very fresh and nice. More of a springy summer smell, I would say. Kind of like a light, fresh, soft floral. Nothing heavy or, um, you know. If you are put off by the price point, but you wanna try uh, any of the scents, they do have these smaller mists, which I usually like to travel with, keep one in my bag, one in the car and um, it's a spray too. Sometimes I really don't like that the smaller sizes are often rollerballs because there's just something about a spray that I enjoy more, so that is a nice option if you do wanna try any of the scents before committing to the bigger size. Um, just remember, this is the older packaging. It really kinda works, eh? 
coffee magic moving on this is a brand that i've only just become familiar with which is good chemistry i had seen them in target the last time i was actually in a store and then i spoke with them to try and you know decipher so whether they were cruelty free and vegan and they they are so good chemistry are paraben and propylene glycol free they're vegan cruelty free and they do use essential oils like i said these are new to me so i don't have like a ton of experience with them they have body sprays which are 9.99 the perfumes which are uh 24.99 and then roller balls which are 12.99 so a little bit of a lower price point um, and they do have a lot of scent, so you should be able to find something to suit you. Mm, this was good when I can remember. It's almost like a little spicy, but fresh. Dragon fruit magnolia and sugared vanilla. Very cute packaging, very simple, uh, kind of as you'd expect for that price point. Mm, so good, very light, fruity, smells a bit fizzy, if you know what I mean. Beautiful delicious like mouth-watering fruity next is queen bee this is black currant peony and amber which um that appeals to me it's funny because i feel like i really don't stick to just one scent um but there are definitely things that i sometimes see that i'm like oh i'm gonna like that one so queen bee really does smell like rich and she knows what she's what she's looking for that one is delicious. Uh, vibrant and bold with a touch of sass. I would say that is accurate. Can't really say how uh, well these ones last. I do find that uh, Define Me does last very well on the skin, especially if you wanted to look at the fragrance oils. Uh, typically, those are going to last a bit longer. Oh my gosh. I'm going to wear this one now. If you typically like similar scents to me, I think you are going to like this one. I did look for notes that I typically like, so that's why I like all of them. Um, I did my research, and they did send me these, so did Define Me. Next is Royal Rebel. This one is a roller bowl. Uh, pink pepper, golden amber, and musk. Roller bowls are a little harder to... Uh... Mmm! Think of like a sophisticated version of um, like Victoria's Secret Bath and Body Works. Ooh, very, that one's very nice. Amber, I think is such a beautiful scent. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm picking up. Um, and then pink pepper, I actually do really like in a lot of perfumes that I've had in the past. Just adds a little, little, spice up in the air somewhere and then lastly is another roller ball which is solar jasmine um what does she have oh pineapple peach blossom and sandalwood studio is gonna smell delicious after this mmm very fresh um oh that's really nice again a little bit fizzy um the sandalwood is definitely there but it's very light and I think that like the floral and um fruity Mmm, okay, super nice too. You typically just go for like a fresh kind of uplifting fragrance. I think you would like that one. Obviously, I'm trying to move... Oh, I forgot one. Tiger Lily, which came in a different package. This one is orange flower, vanilla, and amber. What was the other amber one? Blackcurrant, peony, and amber. See, I think amber is like a round smell or like a spherical smell, but then it does have a kind of fruity, sparkly thing, which I guess would be the orange flower and then vanilla, which I think vanilla is a round smell too. Can't explain. Not gonna try. Obviously, I am trying to go through these fairly quickly. I do have 10 brands to show you and I wanted to just show you how many options you have as far as vegan and cruelty free things go because i do think fragrance can be something that's a bit overwhelming if you decide to go vegan or cruelty free in your um like skincare or beauty products partly because it can be hard to figure out what's vegan and cruelty free um but also because you might already have a scent that you love um and certain notes that you love in which case i would just search through any of these brands and see if they have any fragrances with similar notes to what you usually like or similar notes to a specific perfume that you have. Maybe try and see if you can get samples or a smaller size to start with. And I think, I wanna say maybe one of you had told me about a website that you can compare fragrances on. So 
uh, I'll link that too if I can find it. Next up is a brand that I only have samples of but I wanted to be sure to mention because it is a good option which is Kieran NYC. They are vegan, cruelty free and genderless. Uh, those are their words. Uh, obviously if any of these perfumes have notes that you like regardless of your gender, pick them up. The full sizes of these are beautiful uh, and they're $84 so you're going to probably want to get a sample set first before you commit to that. I think my favourite of these was Sunday Brunch and I think if I'm right this one was like the Earl Grey spicy smell. Italian bergamot, lemon, Earl Grey, tea and jasmine. Delicious. This one smells very uh, like there's some nostalgia here for me. I don't know if it maybe smells like something. But that tea definitely adds an interesting scent, so uh, might be a brand worth looking into. Next up is Carez. Now, this uh, Bellflower Tangerine and Pink Pepper was a favorite from them, which they no longer sell. I don't know how old this is. Probably a little old. And I can't, I can't find this exact one, but they do have one called Bellflower, which has similar notes, and I believe they are vegan. I will try and find out and clarify for you in the uh, description box fruity a little uh kick from that pink pepper just beautiful very light and uh again uplifting i believe these are 48 dollars again i don't think that they have this specific scent but they do have another bellflower fragrance or you may be able to find this somewhere i don't know it's a mystery carez do have options next up is my daughter fragrances uh i came across this brand through petit vore i think and then i bought the scent my wild because i'd had a sample they are cruelty-free, vegan. I do believe they have some sustainable practices and they are environmentally minded. They have fragrance and then some very luxurious body products too. I do have some oils from them. This is 85 Canadian dollars. They are a Canadian brand, but you can pick them up on Petit Vore for 85 US dollars. I don't know what the exchange rate is right now, but those are the options for you. And My Wild is violets, pink pepper, cedar, and frankincense. So it's very kind of light and girly and like effervescent which is probably not a term that you use for fragrance but this is me and then it kind of goes into like the woodsy more heavy scent it's so beautiful so interesting this is definitely a more kind of full winter scent for me um, and they do obviously have other options as well all right friends we are halfway through maybe I will run an ad now I don't know moving on to Pacifica I think they have a ton of options. Pacifica are vegan, cruelty-free, clean, paraben-free, and uh, typically their packaging is much more recyclable than other brands. They have perfumes, hair and body mists, roll-on perfumes, and solid perfumes as well. And here are some of my favorites. Uh, Tomboy Vibes. It is orange flower and cannabis. I'm gonna have to... so yummy it does have this light floral scent but then it's also like a little green green you know what i mean i guess that would be the cannabis delicious scent this is probably my favorite of like this style of perfume that they have this is one of the hair and body mist which is hardcore happy uh and that is vanilla coconut that's kind of like a scent i always associate with pacifica yeah it smells like the beach and then these two uh, are new releases from them, which they have like a moon range. Uh, so they sent Flower Moon, which is Jasmine, Peach, and Vanilla, and then Dream Moon, which is Patchouli, Sandalwood, and Pink Rose. Oh, prices. 22, 14, uh, and then these are 22 as well. Cute new packaging. Mmm. Okay, that's really delicious and fruity and round. Mmm. And then Dream Moon. This one is a little he heavier. I will say Pacifica are very good at making patchouli scents enjoyable. Uh, patchouli sandalwood and pink rose. That one is a little bit stronger, um, but obviously I'm sniffing off of cardboard as well. Moving on to Pinrose. Uh, this is a brand that I've enjoyed for a really long time. This is kind of like one of the more traditional um, like luxury perfumes that I came across that was vegan and cruelty free. So I have a few of their scents here. They're clean I think they use sustainable packaging vegan and cruelty free and then the perfumes are 77 the travel sizes are 27 and then the sample sets are 25. They also have candles which are 49. So again, definitely on that kind of like slightly more luxury price range 
So I've brought a few of my favorite scents that I often reach for. One is Lil Dipper. This one is Lemon Peel, Peony, and Sandalwood. It's such a, like, pretty smell. Very fresh. Oh, it's just beautiful. Then there's Mystical Misfit, which is red currant, pink rose, and patchouli. Again, an enjoyable patchouli because I feel like that is a very love it or hate it scent for most people. But definitely like the red currant and the rose really kind of evens that out a little bit. This one is also patchouli with pink rose. But this one has sandalwood. This one has red currant. And then Secret Genius, this is such a delicious, yummy, kind of like creamy, <laughs> creamy smell. Um, it's caramel, Madagascan, vanilla, and sandalwood. This is like luxury, like almost like edibly delicious. Such a good scent. Uh, I would wear that year round. And I also really like to mix this one with things too. Like if I want to spice it up a little for winter, I might mix that one um, or something fresher if you like. Then we have Sol de Janeiro. Um, I I asked you on Instagram to teach me how to say Shea Rosa, okay, but for a start, I'm British, which makes everything embarrassing to say, um, but then there needed to be some rolling of the R, which I find very hard because uh, I have my tongue pierced and it just doesn't cooperate, so Shea Rosa, Shea Rosa, Shea Rosa? I'm trying my best, but anyway, it's that uh, 62. This is, um, let me just rewind. Sol de Janeiro are cruelty-free, paraben-free. A lot of their stuff is vegan, but not all of it. Uh, Gluten-free and sustainably sourced. They are the makers of the Bum Bum Cream, which a lot of people love, including myself. Adam uses it now too. So he also smells like a delicious male stripper. The perfume is 78. I will say this, if you love the smell of Bum Bum Cream and you want the perfume version of it, I do not regret spending that money on it. It is incredible. I've used about half of it already. You can get the body spray version, which I do have as well, uh, which is 32. Uh, and the notes for this one are salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine petals, and vanilla. Again, very like a delicious, delicious smell. Smells a bit like summer, but I've been, I was wearing it through the whole winter too. Just incredible. If you like Bum Bum Cream, you you won't regret it. Okay, next is Skylar. They are cruelty-free, vegan, no parabens, phthalates, or synthetic dyes. Uh, the full sizes are 78, again. That's uh, that's an amount. They do have travel rollies for 29 and um, I think they have a bunch of other stuff but I haven't tried it. Anyway, the scent I have is Capri, which is bergamot, neroli and blood orange. It's very light and fruity and delicious. Fresh, garden, fruity, delicious. That's what I'll say. And then lastly, this is another one that I just came across more recently, which is the Seven Virtues. They are vegan, cruelty-free, they have ethically sourced ingredients, paraben, phthalate, sulfate, and formaldehyde-free. So, there you go, no ingredients. The perfumes are 79, and then they have perfume oils, which are 69. Let's start with Brack, Brack, Brack Lily. Blackberry Lily. Also, I, I love the packaging because you have that on the front and then it has the information on the back. This one is Blackberry Cassis, Cassie, Lily, Rose, Magnolia, Lily of the Valley, Vetiver, Cedar, Caramel, and Amber. It is very delicious. It's fruity, it's floral, and a little woodsy, like sexy fairy smell. And then Vanilla Woods, Pear, Rose, Vanilla, Amber, and Caramel. Another like super delicious, yummy smell, little bit of fruitiness. That Vanilla, Amber, and Caramel plays throughout, doesn't it? I must enjoy that dildish. Well, friends, those were the 10, um, my 10 favorite perfume brands. 
I guess, with some of my favorite scents in there. I didn't want this to be just like my favorite perfumes because they're so individual and maybe what I like you will hate and vice versa. So hopefully this will give you some ideas of at least brands to look at and um, how to kind of look at the notes and compare it to what you know you already love. So if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Apologies for this being such a word talky heavy video. Uh, and um, if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe. I would love to have you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.